In today's news, we look at patio floods, the COVID count for Thailand and the arrival of new drugs, a story about bugs in a local hotel and good news for many who lost money to a Cassicorn Bank employee. Yesterday's new COVID count for Thailand was just 175, with the news that the first shipment of vaccine will be brought from China on a Thai Airways flight next week, 200,000 doses, destined for frontline workers and the elderly in Bangkok. A further 2 million doses are on order and due to be released to Thailand over the coming months with a further 61 million jabs due from AstraZeneca. Certainly it was a family affair, as yesterday saw two sons of a convicted drug lord sentenced to death for their dealings and money laundering. Others involved had their sentences commuted to life after giving what was described as useful information during their interrogations. Five years ago, both were convicted along with mum and dad, who masterminded the massive drug dealing operation. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, our region yesterday saw heavy flash flooding deluging most areas. In the late afternoon and last night, we saw flooding in the usual areas, the Sukhumvit, Railway Road, and even the newly drained Beach Road. Worst of all was Third Road, and much of that was due to water rising from drains, which were overrun with the wet stuff from the Sukhumvit drainage system. Third Road then flooded onto Minor Soys into Bukau and Second Road too. An unnamed Chonbury Hotel, serving as free quarantine accommodation for Thai nationals returning here, has threatened legal action against one Thai man who posted photographs of what he claimed were terrible conditions on social media. As a Thai person, he was entitled to free quarantine on returning home, but found bugs and dirt around his quarters and complained that he had no free Wi-Fi or TV. The hotel operators have sought legal advice, but we're told have temporarily closed for business. Good news for those scammed by an errant Cassicorn Bank employee, as more customers who were defrauded of their savings have been promised refunds yesterday. This week's already seen the bank refund money to some who were robbed by the deputy manager, who now wallows in jail. They'd been able to prove with documentation, albeit not necessarily registered within the banking system, that they had indeed saved and invested money, which never appeared on the banking system either, as the bank's fraud department is investigating the issue in great depth, as it's unlikely that he was operating alone in what's now seen as a scam that netted hundreds of millions of baht. And with the Met Office warning, more rain may come this way today, and many roads this morning slick and covered in sand and mud, Cyclists and car drivers are reminded that sand on roads is very much the same as ice. It's very easy to lose control. So take extra care. Mitts, masks and meters. Wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of just 30 degrees, dropping down to 21. An overcast day with a chance of rain. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.